Good morning, folks. This is a short one, focused. We'll do the rest of your usual news in just a few hours, but right now we're talking solar flare and Earth-directed CME. I waited and waited this morning for updated data from NASA and NOAA, but it never came and they're all still asleep. So here is the observer's analysis from Space Weather News with what data is available. We indeed have been focused on the sunspot group. These are her bright umbral magnetic fields. A small C-class solar flare, which was of the long duration nature, that wide hump, it signaled the release of a CME near those sunspots, which we're going to see here. First in green, it's the solar flare, and then the best all-around look at the sun in 193 angstroms, and then in the pink 211 angstrom view, we see how much it really blasted out the coronal particles. You might recall there is no public access for SOHO right now. Coronagraph images are coming from raw satellite data processed by 9RISI for us. It's early, so there isn't much to go on, but we do indeed see ejecta spreading from the center. Part of that is even well illuminated on the C3 coronagraph backed out here. Last thing we need to do is confirm the wide breadth of the CME from the side perspective using Stereo A. Indeed, this one covers a wide region, north and south of Earth's orbit, and will likely make impact. Now, NASA and NOAA have also not updated their endless spirals yet, but best guess right now on an impact time would be between tomorrow night and Wednesday midday. We expect intensified solar wind telemetry and possibly moderate geomagnetic storms. As we run through it one more time here, remember that in just a few hours we will have a full update of the morning news for you. We'll be in the afternoon this time. And remember, the only place you can get coronagraph images is from Space Weather News, courtesy of Nine Reese. We'll see you in a few hours for the full update. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.